Hello and welcome to this project. Today, I will make a scratch-made vape with an RDTA atomizer and an unregulated battery mod. Compared to ready-made systems, it doesn't look much different and it works as good. The specs are the following Single coil RDTA atomizer 0 0.1 ohm internal resistance Approximately 40 watts output with 0 0.1 ohm coil resistance Made with acrylic and PVC material for proof of concept However, the design is valid for implementation on metal so let's now design and slowly make it. This time I will let the video talk for itself. The switch is homemade, but you can use any switch rated to 16 amps. As the plastic is white, I've used a piece of leather and leatherette to make a good look.
indicator of the power bank used was mounted on the side and I made a window with plexiglass and a button extender for it. Building the atomizer. The atomizer was built up on PVC pipes and plastic plates. The screw terminals were found into an old light bulb socket, although similar items can be found on any electrical screw wire terminals. A rubber seed from an inner tube was used to make a ring seal.
Electrical Connections Diagram I'm using thin steel flower mounting wire as a resistor which cost one buck per 50 meters. Sort the leads of the multimeter, measure the ohm value of the leads, then remove it from the reading of the coils resistance for increased accuracy. The glycerin soaking material is cotton. For details on how to install the coil and the cotton, you can consult any video regarding RDTA atomizer rebuilds. As I use a vape only for so purposes, I'm using 100% vegetable glycerin. And as you finally see, it makes a ton of smoke. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.